Yeah, this this is one thing that this uh, this LP is gonna have a lot is me cutting a lot because I'm just gonna be heading to places I've already been to. So there we go. Once it's night of the final day, you want to come here about 12 and head right up there, and then uh, you can go fight Skull Kid, I guess. Well, not really fight him. You just need to be able to knock something out of his hand. All right, so I'll meet you guys back here when it's night of the final day. Okay, one quick thing I want to show off real quick. It's not 12 o'clock yet, but this is something that you can do every time it gets night to the final day, night of the final day. You can always head over here, and when you get to this, you'll notice that Link can't do it. Just go ahead and press A, and he'll climb up. And once you get in the chest, if I can open it... Okay, apparently I'm on the wrong side. Okay. Open up the chest, and you get 50 rupees. I think you need the hook shot to get uh, to that chest over there, because I honestly... I've tried it with the Dooku Flowers. It does not work. So, yeah, I'll meet you guys when it's uh, 12 o'clock. Okay, it is just now turning 12. Now for a cutscene. Alright, so now it's this, and I really, oh god, that actually scared me for a second, uh, I really love this music right here, the reason I said it scared me for a second is because all of a sudden my uh, computer uh, screensaver showed up. Sis! Ah, Tao, we've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask your wham back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, hurry, the four, who are there? Bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you think we're still friends after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Alright, so basically all I gotta do is L target him and shoot a bubble on him, and that's it. And then, we have to go pick up the ocarina. You got back the ocarina of time, Princess Zelda gave you this princess... Whatever. By the way, this is the only time in the entire game that we're gonna see Zelda. Which makes me question, why do they even call it a Legend of Zelda game? You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule, and I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey will be a safe one. If something happened... If something should happen to you, remember this song. By the way, I didn't say this uh, before, but this uh, game takes place one year after Ocarina of Time. When Link becomes a kid again, it takes one place one year after that. Just thought I'd point that out. Not a lot of people know that. Ah, dang it. <laughs> okay, can I please stop failing? You remembered the song of time. This melody lingered on the edges of your mind and is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you.
Snap out of it! What are you doing? Lost in your movie? Lost in your memories? Almost in movies. Get yourself together. Getting the old ocarina back isn't gonna help us. Someone, somebody, anyone, go us a time. Help us. We need more time. And you can do whatever you want to Skull Kid. He'll just taunt you. But so let's just go ahead and play this one time. Huh? Where did you get that instrument? There we go. And this is how you save in this game. Save and return to the first day. This is why I recommend uh, depositing your rupees, because if you do this, you'll lose them all. That's why I went ahead and deposited them. And don't worry, you don't have to see this every time you go into flashback. This just plays this once. After that, once you get to the white screen, it goes straight to the black dawn of the first day. What? What just happened? Everything has... Started over. What? What are you anyway? That song you just played. That instrument. That instrument! Wait! That's it! Your instrument! The ma the master salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? Alright, so now we gotta go back and see the happy master salesman. By the way, every time you go in here, time does not affect it. Okay, so talk to him. Were you able to recover your precious item from that? Yep. Oh, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it! Then listen to me. Please play this song as I perform and remember it well. I can't help but tilt my head back and forth when I'm watching this guy for some reason. <laughs> what the f Okay. Let's try and play Sorry's song for a second. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into mess. I'm sure it will be assistance to you in the future. Ah uh, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside this mask. When you wear it, you will transform to the shape you were, and when you remove it, you will return to normal. And we got our first mask of the game! <clears throat> you got the Dooku mask, blah blah blah, yeah, it lets us become a Dooku, I already know. Alright. Now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So, please give me the... which you promised me. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it. Back. Didn't you? What have you done to me? If that mask is out there, something terrible will happen. And I really love this backstory. We don't get a lot of cutscenes like this like it was on the N64. The mask that was stolen from me is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. Or in the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask manga, it was a monster that a lot of people thought could grant wishes, and if you could kill it, you could do that. And not until someone killed, not until someone rested its spirit, he made the mask from it. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask was so great. The 
The ancient ones fearing such catastrophe sealed the mass in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of that mass power. But I do feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask when I finally had it. I could sense doom of dark omen brewing. It was an unwelcoming feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something terrible will happen. I am begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really, you'll do it for me? I was certain that you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Alright, after that little freaky incident. Let's go ahead and head back out here. And now, that mask, old kids, uses the power of that mask to do terrible things. Well, whatever. We gotta do whatever it takes to stop him. The swamp, the mountains, the ocean, the canyon. That Tao was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you think he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through the gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. But we're not going to be heading to the swamp for a little while, guys. So get used to seeing me do a lot of side quests. But anyway, we're going to come up here and hit this thing. And this is basically a save statue along with a uh, warp point. And I'm not going to save yet. In fact, I on any of my playthroughs, I have never used that thing. Instead, we are going to go and... Well, first off, I need to get that great fairy. But before that, I want to head over here and get some rupees real quick. Just in case I might need them. By the way, this is how I thought you had to get the rupees. But wait, what the heck am I doing? I can get a hundred rupee chest now. Alright, so let's just hop across this. We're going to get a quick piece of heart. This one's actually really easy to get. All i got to do is time your jumps and... Okay, jump again. And there we go. Got them piece of heart. That's our third one. Okay, so now... Let's go ahead and do that. go back to East Clock Town because this is where we have to head. Actually, we can get another mask. We can get another mask actually fairly quickly right now, but I'm wondering if I should just wait. Oh, wait, what? No, not yet. I won't play it yet. I'll have to wait till uh, 8 anyway. What am I doing? I gotta do a circle roll or a roll, whatever. A roll into the platform is how I get to jump farther. Yeah, like they make you uh, know you're Zelda in this game, and I really love it for that. Okay, so now that we're here, we just jump across these two things. And we get a hundred rupee chest that we can go deposit. Alright, so let's head over here. 